I'm Andrew. And I'm Liz, and we have two cats, Charlie and Frankie. I love the cats, but the problem with Charlie and Frankie is that they don't get along. Charlie and Frankie fight in the living room. They fight upstairs in the bedrooms. Frankie is very confident and not scared of much, and Charlie's scared of everything. Charlie is freaking out before anything's even happening. Charlie enters every room like there's going to be an altercation. I would say Frankie and Charlie's behavior affects our relationship in that it sets the tone right off the bat. Liz comes home from a long day at work, the cats are excited to see her, they start fighting. I don't even get a word in, and suddenly they're, they gotta be broken up, and then Liz is frustrated. I am frustrated, fighting. I am. I'm tired of the cats fighting. I'm tired of Andrew being grumpy all the time. I'm tired of like walking into my house and having everybody just like all worked up. I love Andrew very much, but the cats fighting is one of the biggest things that we argue about in our relationship, and if we can sort that out, I think our relationship will be a lot stronger. How, How are, are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Hey, nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you. <laughs> Who's this that I'm seeing? That's Frankie. Frankie. That's Frankie. So you have an orange tabby girl. Orange tabby females is pretty rare, and uh, I would never generalize, but orange tabbies have that thing. They're gregarious, they're kind of Dennis the menace you know. She Does she together. sort of fall into that category? Is yeah, she... I wish I knew that when we adopted her. Oh, she's a sweetheart, don't do that. Mm. <laughs> she's Hi, really baby. sweet. Frankie is incredibly social, tail up in the air. I don't see anything about her off the bat that leads me to believe that she would be an all out bully 24 seven, but hey, I've been wrong plenty of times. We brought Frankie home, we tried to introduce them, they didn't get along. We then separated them and had them on a shift schedule of which one would be out and about in the house for 12 hour shifts. One would go away at night and one would come out during the day. Hey, yo. Coming in. Well, I haven't been in this house more than a couple minutes and all of a sudden there's a fight going on. Now, let's talk about that. <laughs> uh, so, is that kind of how it tends to happen? That Frankie will start it? No. Well, hmm. it's not. we disagree. In two seconds of being in your house, Frankie goes up the stairs and all of a sudden you hear, Row! you know? I look up here and Charlie is looking at me like I'm going to eat her. She thinks everyone's gonna eat her. Well then how could she possibly start it? Because she's so stressed out all the time that she antagonizes before she can be antagonized first time they met. She was actually the first cat to start an altercation. Really? Yes. Frankie like walked up to Charlie, kind of like sniffed her, and then Charlie swatted her across the face with her nails out. Okay, so that's not calling instigating. What is that called? Back the hell away from me. Liz misinterprets what went on that first day. That Frankie went to Charlie, got a little too in the personal bubble space, and Charlie said, back off. That's Charlie saying, get out of my bubble and Frankie refused. I haven't fully relaxed since we adopted Frankie because not, all she wants to do is hasn't relaxed since the day he was born. It's very, very tightly wound. <laughs> you know uh, you this are. This is what makes a relationship work. <laughs> it's <laughs> honest communication <laughs> is what this is all Til about. Death do us part. Until right death do us part. Until death do you part. So far, Andrew and Liz don't agree about anything. I mean, it's an endearing part of their relationship, but it doesn't get us anywhere. I've got to get to the truth, and the truth has got to be somewhere between the two of them. Charlie. Hi, baby. Now, this is interesting. Now, Frankie is 100% hunting Charlie. Yeah. Is this what it looks like all the time? Yeah. Every, it's worse in the morning. How the hell could you possibly blame Charlie for anything? Because she started it. She started it one time. <laughs> oh, Mama, you're all right. You're okay. Look, what? No, look. Yeah. I mean, please. <laughs> Charlie is trapped. Like, I know what's going on here, so it's so weird to hear you describe something completely opposite. I don't think that Andrew and Liz have the slightest idea why things are happening in this house. They have completely misunderstood Charlie and underestimated Frankie. They don't know their cats nearly as well as they think they do. I mean, this just feels like a matter of time. <laughs> yeah, well, Charlie's right there and Frankie's getting ready oh, to well, round. Look at us. And here we go. 
Hold on. Does she ever not hunt? Uh, no. When she's sleeping. Yeah, lots of that. And or she's playing, or debatable. she's eating. So she doesn't hunt when she's eating? No. Can they eat together? Oh yeah, face to face. Get out of here. Now that I gotta see. Here we go. Charlie's a coming. It's okay. How do you like that? So these two can eat like this all the time? Yeah. Every day. Every day. Every day. Yeah. Now, right now, Charlie is looking up, or does she always eat like that? She, she kind of does. She will time. check in on Frankie to see what she's doing, and Frankie is just so consumed by with her the food. Tuna. She, Frankie doesn't look up. I gotta tell you, man. I, it, although I do identify that things are problematic here, they're workable. I'm getting a lot of information from the cats right now, but. It's time to push them a little bit. I want to see if I can tempt them, get them involved with toys, treats, to see what really motivates these cats. Good girl. Yes, that's very good. What Frankie is telling me is that she's like a kid. She'll go wherever the fun is. My toy presents fun. And there you are, my love. Now it's time to see if I can get Charlie to come out while Frankie's doing that somewhat intimidating looking action because I want to see if Charlie has what it takes to stand up for herself. Come on, baby. Charlie. Oh, boy. You're a little mojo deficient. Come here, baby. Come here, honey. Charlie's face is starting to come out from under the chair. She's starting to get brave, but Frankie is staring at her the whole time. If a fight breaks out with this much challenge presented to them, we're in a bad place. Don't cause a scene, Charlie. Charlie's face is starting to come out from under the chair, but Frankie is staring at her the whole time. If a fight breaks out with this much challenge presented to them, we're in a bad place. Don't cause a scene, please. Right there. This is a cat who wants to engage, who wants to play, but she keeps looking over here. Charlie could be just as social, just as present as Frankie, but she's not allowed to be that cat because she's always looking for an exit. Frankie. You're okay, Charlie. So we've got a little tube of tuna here. Charlie is on guard. Hey, 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 right here. Look at that. I can instantly redirect Frankie's aggression. I can do it with a treat. I can do it with a toy. That's fantastic news because that tells me that for Frankie, this is not life and death stakes. Frankie was totally able between this and this to be distracted away from Charlie. Is that what you guys see on a, on a regular yeah. basis? You can use a laser tractor. Yay. Yeah. If I could clap right now, I would. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to forge a new relationship between these two cats and hopefully a new relationship between the humans here as well because this isn't working. Charlie's not having a good time. You know, Frankie's fine. Frankie is resilient. Frankie is confident. Charlie's got none of that. And that's where things just have to change around here. Now, the first thing we're gonna talk about is X marks the spot. And we're gonna have three different colors of tape here. So we have the green X of tape, which is for confident areas where she likes to hang out. The yellow piece of tape is for hiding the unconfident cat, uh, where we're slinking around, where we're feeling very unconfident. And the red piece of tape is for hunt or where fights happen, okay? By having all these green X's around the house, it'll help me find a pattern of behavior. Now, playtime. I want you to separate them for playtime. The idea is this, Charlie will find confidence through play. When Charlie gets to kill something, that's where cats get their confidence. That is where their mojo comes from, when they're living their natural life. And then for Frankie, the cool thing is that play drains out that energy that she then will use on Charlie. Separate play times set the table for together play times, or for that matter, together anything. We're gonna take their energy and put it in the right lane here so that life itself can take root. And hopefully Frankie can stop looking at Charlie as a play toy. Call me if you need anything. Bye. Bye-bye. My only apprehension is that uh, Liz underestimates my abilities to follow directions. <laughs> <laughs>